Hello guys, my name is Sergio Guerra, and in this episode I'm going to show you how to make a calculator with an LCD display and explain what Arduino is. First, let's talk about Arduino. Arduino is an open source electronics platform with a beginner friendly language to get you to make circuits and to program circuits. You can program circuits such as temperature sensors and metal detectors, which is some stuff I've done in the past. So, let's talk about the different boards with Arduino. There is an Arduino Uno, which is what I'm going to be using in this tutorial. And it is the Revision 3 and is the most common you will ever find in the Arduino software. But there are many others other than the Arduino Uno, such as Arduino Leonardo, the two Arduino Megas, and a lily pad Arduino. But if you want a more complex project, you will most likely choose the Arduino Mega since it has like 54 digital pins. So let's talk about the Arduino Uno first. The Arduino Uno has 14 digital pins and five analog inputs. Which, and they also have power pins, which you can use to connect to your circuit. They also have a USB connector and a, a DC power jack. So, let's talk about the parts you will need to make the calculator. You will obviously need the Arduino microcontroller. You can use whatever you, you will. You will also have to use a breadboard and an LCD display or liquid crystal display. Some jumper cables. Uh, and a push button. And a 10K potentiometer, which is very likely for you to choose. So, here I made a diagram of where each pin of the LCD will have to be connected to. Pin 1 has to be connected to ground. Pin 2 has to be connected to 5 volts, depending on the Arduino, since its power is 5 volts. And you will have, pin 3 will have to connect to the middle pin of the 10K potentiometer. The fourth pin will be a data line to the Arduino, and it will be connected to pin D8, and then the next pin after that will be connected to ground. And then D9. And then the cool thing about LCDs is that you can transmit data since it has eight da data lines. You can, the cool thing is you can transmit da data for using four. And so that's cool. So let's you, we're going to use the data lines, data lines D4 through D7, and we're going to use the LED backlight, which makes it more depth, which has to be connected to 5 volts and ground. So let's get this wired up and start writing some code for it. So here we are going to use a breadboard instead of a soldering circuit board because Breadboards are used for you to be able to build circuits easily and require no soldering. So if you make a mistake, it's okay. So we are going to need, so wire your push buttons each on the, each eight of them on the breadboard. Do the middle as you see here, do the middle because if you put them in the same line, it's going to be a short circuit. So just put them across the middle. So put each of the push buttons in the same way across the middle. I do not recommend a tiny breadboard for this project. I, I prefer a, a medium or large breadboard or full size as most people call them. So just do that for every of the eight buttons that you have and each button will have a different function. One to print numbers, some of them to do equal signs and operation signs. But then you realize, uh-oh, you only got seven pins. But then 
I remembered that I had a few other push buttons that are different from these lying around on my desk. So I realized, what if we could do, what, what if we could make the same circuit with these push buttons? So I tried it, and sure enough, it worked. So just use this, use any push buttons. If you have enough, good for you. But if you don't, you can always use a different push button. So after you've got all eight push buttons wired up, it's time to put on the 10K potentiometer. And the potentiometer is used to control the contrast of the LCD, depend, in, or in other words, to control how bright or dark it looks. So we'll just connect that over here. But remember, you have to have enough space to connect it to ground and positive and all that. So um, now that we have all our components hooked up, Let's start hooking them up to the Arduino and making them do something. So, as we learned from the diagram, the first pin of the LCD has to go to ground. So let's connect that to ground now. That second pin, of course, has to go to five volts. And I'm sorry if you can't see this really well on my breadboard, but don't worry, I have a fixing diagram ready on my laptop. And then the third pin, has to go to the middle pin of the potentiometer to control the contrast. And the fourth pin, as we learned, is a dad line. So we can connect that to pin, digital pin eight. And then the next one has to go to ground. And then after ground, there's another data pin that has to connect to digital pin nine. And so then, as I explained earlier, there are eight digital pin, data line pins, but the cool thing is we can only use four to transmit the data. So we can skip D through D0 through D3, and then just connect D4 through D7. So let's do that. So data line pin four of the LCD goes to D digital pin 10, and then the next one goes to digital pin 11, and then the next one goes to digital pin 12. Oh, my bad. Digital pin 12. And then the final one goes to the last pin of the Arduino, which is digital pin 13. And the last two pins are the LED backlights. So if you want your LED to have a backlight on, it's going to be easier to see the text. So the 15th pin of the LCD has to go to positive, like an LED, except you don't need a resistor for this. And then the 16th pin has to go to ground. So, now that we have the LCD hooked up, now let's connect the push buttons. So, the push button has to, one pin has to go to a digital pin of the Arduino, and one has to be, a, a, to go to ground. So, they're gonna be pulled down push buttons and it's going to be a pull down wire. So one pin leg of the push button has to go to digital pin zero. And for the next bu bu push button, another, another leg goes to digital pin one. And then keep on doing this until you have digital pin zero through digital pin seven all hooked up to the push buttons and just keep on going to the next one and connect them to the next push, to the next digital pin, my bad. And just keep on doing this. So as I was saying earlier, each push button is gonna have a different function to display equation symbols, to display numbers, and to display equal signs. So I love this project, project, because it works just like a real calculator. And since this one cannot go across the middle, it is okay because it has two pins in there and don't connect them to the same line. So one of them has to go to a digital pin. So now that all the digital pins are hooked up, you can now put the push buttons to a pull down. So one leg on the other side of the breadboard has to go to ground. And just do that for every single push button until all the push buttons have a ground pin as well.
so just keep on doing this. And then we will, after we have this hooked up, we are going to start hooking up the 10K potentiometer. So don't forget about this other thing, the other push button, my bad. So now that we have the push buttons hooked up, we have to connect the 10K potentiometer. Remember that we connected pin three of the LCD to the middle pin of the potentiometer to control the contrast. But now, since we have to connect the other two pins to ground and five volts, and since the 10K potentiometer is not bipolar, they do not have to have specific alignments. So you can just connect either one of your choice to five volts and ground. And then once you hooked it up, you can hook up the power from the Arduino to the power rails of your breadboard. So let's do that. Five volts is going to go to the positive rail and ground is going to go to the negative rail. So, and um, don't forget to connect these two power rails to these two power rails. Otherwise, this, these push buttons will not have a pull down wire and they will be jumping all over the place from high to low, high to low, whenever they wish. So put five volts to five volts on the other rail and then ground to the other ground rail. And then now we have everything wired up. We can check what we have been doing with this nine volt, nine volt battery from Radio Shack. Okay guys, so let's hook up this nine volt battery. So we just hook it up to the DC power jack. And as you can see, it only displays pixels. Not like we want, but we want a calculator. But all it displays is pixels that we could change the contrast. But with a, li with a sketch, we can change these pixels into a calculator. So let's do that. So here I have a fritting diagram as well as the sketch that I'm going to use for the Arduino. So as you can see, once it makes that sound, you can upload the sketch with this arrow button. And as you can see, it's compiling the sketch. And as you look, I encourage you to pause this video and see the fritting diagram. But now that it's uploaded, it's going to have this welcome icon. And when you press reset, it's going to have it again the welcome icon and then now we can use anything we really want we can use addition subtraction multiplication or division so let's start with addition and let's go over this button which is shift so when we don't press shift these numbers are 0 through 4 but once we press shift they're 5 through 9 so let's do a little equation that shows all the numbers so let's start this is 0 but it's already 0 so 1 2 3 4 and then we can press zero to show you how it works. So then we can press this equations button and it can do all every equation. But let's go ahead and do addition. So once we press the shift button, these are turned into five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And so, and then we press this final button back here and it will do the sum. And that is the sum. But you can also do many other equations, but you can't clear it, so you will just have to press reset again. And then we can do, let's do multiplication. So we can do 56, oh, my bad, 56 times, let's do nine. And that equals 504. And we can also do division which is, uh, let's do 12, oops, 12 divided by 
4, which equals 3. And so one equation that we haven't done is subtract. But you can keep on going with the same numbers by subtracting. And let's subtract 2. So 2 is right here. And then you get 1. So that's pretty much how the calculator works. And once you finish this, you can just plug in the, the 9 volt battery and disconnect this and it is still powered. So once you disconnect the Arduino, you could just power it with a DC battery. And that is all you have to do to make the calculator. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thanks, bye.